Hey friends, Pritha here, interior designer and executor and you all are welcome to my channel Glossy Space Interior. So friends, today's topic is about uh, fall ceiling which is very common and one of the main topic of interior that is everybody are going for fall ceiling. Now what is fall ceiling? Fall ceiling is a uh, drop down secondary ceiling which, uh, which is getting you know hanged up or suspended to the, from your main ceiling. Now why do you need fall ceiling? Why we are going for that? Uh, fall ceiling, the first of all, it will hide all your unwanted wires which you need to install for your different kind of servicing like uh, electricals, uh, then air conditioning or maybe intercom and then internet uh, or CCTV, whatever. So, whatever services, wires are required, everything will be hidden under your fall ceiling. Now, the second point is uh, like uniform, the light uniformity to maintaining a uniform light throughout the space you need to install fall ceiling because uh, not we, when you are going for fall ceiling we are not using normal uh, tube light or bulb light so here we are using different kind of light which is called panel light or which are recessed light and uh, COB light or many more are there so which are really wonderful lights and they will distribute light throughout your space uniformly and then uh, you know, if your uh, flat is at the top floor, so that time you need few, you need a protection layer which will uh, for heat protection layer. I mean, so uh, in that case, what we do uh, in between your main ceiling and um, this fall ceiling, we install some um, thermocol layer will be there. Okay, so that layer will protect the heat. It will absorb the heat from which comes through your roof. Now. Uh, I mean, what and all materials can be used for fall ceiling? So, uh, gypsum ceiling is there, then POP ceiling is there, wooden ceiling can be there, uh, metal, I mean, different kind of metal ceiling is there, then uh, mirror ceiling is there, glass ceiling is there. So, among them, gypsum ceiling is most common. Now, uh, some about material, I'll go for, I'll make difference, I mean, separate video for that because it's a very elaborate subject. So in this video, I will discuss, uh, you know, what are the main points you can say as a checklist uh, what you need to maintain before starting, before starting or you can say before planning your uh, fall ceiling. Now, when you are planning your fall ceiling, few things you have to remember. First of all, you need to check the height of the roof from the floor. If it is 10 feet, then you can go for any kind of designs like it can be double layer or multi layer. So, which will drop down up to six, uh, 6 inches to 7 inches or maximum 8 inches. So, no problem will be there uh, with the space and even uh, with installation of fan. Now, the second point is if nowadays multi-stored building you have seen that uh, the, the um, ceiling height they are keeping as 9 feet. So, in that case it is better to avoid multi-layer multi, multi -layer or multi-layer you know, like uh, multi -layer, uh, fall ceiling which will make the space more clumsy and even you might feel you know difficulty for install, installation of fan so uh, before uh, planning of the fall ceiling your electrical layout should be clear i mean where and how many lights are going to come which kind of lights you are going to install the height of the light and then where location of the fan how many fans are there where sand layer is coming and then if any profile light you want to install over there so different kind of things are there because each and every lights have different character and for that you have to mention and specify you know like different kind of space different amount of space and you have to leave wares you know so everything has to be planned before installation of fall ceiling number one electrical number two air conditioning like where is the console normally from builder side they will give some points for the AC in each room now you have to check whether that is convenient for you or not, whether you want to change it. So if you want to change it, so then where you want to place it, that also has to be fixed, you know, before installation of fall ceiling. Why? Because the duct of the fall ceiling, I mean, the duct of the ACs, copper tubes and all, it should be hidden within the um, fall ceiling. So mostly if it is, uh, if your AC uh, is installed, you know, like uh, what to say, outer wall so then with duct we, we don't have much problem but if it is inner wall means where you are installing the AC so if backside another room is there so that time the duct should be completely hidden within the fall ceiling so in that case you have to uh, plan it before or sometime from builder side what you will see 
uh, that they will give AC place, you know, like above the door, bathroom door or something. So in that case also, most of the time the space will, uh, the space is not enough for that. So in that case also, how much fall ceiling height should be there? That has to be decided uh, before uh, you plan your fall ceiling. So then third point is internet, like internet or you know internet wires and uh, intercom if you have so everything all the wires should be hidden through the fall ceiling then next cctv if it's security purpose if you want to install cctv which location you want to and how many cctv has to be installed uh, everything should be pre-decided and then nowadays you can see that uh, door video phone is there so if you install that that wire also should come through your fall ceiling then uh, any uh, fire detector or smoke detector, anything is there, that should be pre-decided. -de pre um, uh, okay, then uh, for inverter wire, inverter wires, whether it is there or not, if you want to keep it, so definitely it has to be fixed before installation of fall ceiling. So these were few important and common points and uh, normally few points we miss it and after that, after installation, uh, we find for that then that time it's really difficult or maybe it is impossible to do that so it's better to plan it out before installation of your fall ceiling so these were a few points we which i thought of discussing with you because uh, you should not suffer uh, with any kind of problem while planning of fall ceiling so that everything should be pre-decided and pre-planned your work will be hassle free so i wish that uh, and uh, guys if you want this kind of video video you know from me and please share it and subscribe my channel and uh, so that I get inspired and uh, I make more videos and please uh, don't forget to see another videos about fall ceiling where I'll discuss about materials cost and which material for for which place is suitable so that is very important so everything will be discussed in the next video till that stay tuned bye bye